Boom, Dunk Journey 273 workout. Let's get it. A lot of people have been asking me about my workout, so I figured since I'm working out today, I'll film it. So voiceover would probably be the easy way to break it down, so let's get into it. Today I'm going light and explosive. I did one rep right there, just a quick warm up. A lot of my reps are just one rep. Ooh, ooh, little body weight squats trying to get warm. Now, these leg kicks right here, trying to kick over an imaginary bar, have really improved my hips, at least instantly, like during a stretch session or a workout session. By the end of the workout or stretching, I feel a big difference in my range of motion. So definitely add these leg kicks to your workout. And uh, through these light and explosive workouts and all workouts and stretch sessions, I stretch before, during, and after all exercise, not all exercises, but throughout the workout, I just feel like it helps my flexibility and I really want to get my flexibility better. It's one of my weaknesses and especially my hips are the tightest. So I've been working on it a lot. I'm wrapping a little bit here, tying my shoe and let's get back to the weights, boy. Okay, so I did 225 pretty easily. I'm just gradually going up. I didn't want to go to my PR or anything like that. I'm focused on as soon as I touch the seat, react as fast as possible, boom, and pop up and explode. So I did 275 here and I actually do 275 another set just because I didn't want to feel shaky or anything like that. I just wanted to be confident before I increased the weight. So uh, here goes 275 one more time after a little close up. Hello. And so just really focusing on like sitting and a second I feel my butt touch try to explode up because that's the point of this day is try to be explosive and focus on moving the weight fast but also at a certain weight. So 315, reminding myself because I realized the first clip I couldn't even see the weights. So 315 right here. My PR is like 365, 385 so I'm not close to it so this should be pretty easy out of focus, into focus, through it up. That's what I said I think. Anyway. So 365 for the last set, um, boom, pretty easily, but didn't want to push it anymore because I knew I was getting close to my PR, so that's pretty good. Now next, I did some deadlifts, but not really deadlifts to the ground. I like to do it from that little bar right here, but what I focus on is range of motion. It's almost more of a stretch than a workout, but I explode on the way up to try to get that explosive factor, but I'm really... I have my legs bent a little bit, but that's to stretch my hamstrings. You don't need to be completely straight legged, at least for me. But I focus on keeping my back super straight, and I feel a major pull in my hamstrings, like a major stretch. So I'm really trying to focus on stretching low and exploding up. So I added some 25, so that's 185, I believe. And a major stretch. That was pretty low. I'm pretty ec ecstatic about that. I don't know what the word is, but... I think my form is pretty good, but my back was straight and I felt a major stretch in my hamstrings. And here goes more kicks. Someone walks by, they're getting kicked in the mouth. Not yet because my flexibility is not good, but that's my goal. So that anybody that says, hey, what are you doing here? I kick them in the mouth and say, I'm dunk life, boy. Anyway, do these kicks before or during. You can see a little bit of improvement already. It's not as unstable. And then some body weight squats just to kind of see where I'm at. Stay loose, stay flexible, always stretching, always trying to work on my mobility. That's a huge focus of mine during all my workouts now and every day of my life. All right, so now I drop the weight a little bit back to 135 and just try to focus on the uh, explosiveness uh, with my lower back and my hamstrings and just... Uh, it's a good exercise. I really like it, especially to try to, I should do it more for my hamstrings because my hamstrings are super tight and it's a good stretch too. So uh, on to the next. And this is the single leg things I did for my knee, but also just as a good workout. But today I did it with light weight just to try to rehab my knee. And since it's my right knee, which is my bad knee recently, it is what I'm doing to rehab it. And as you see on the way down, I'm using assistance to my other leg because on the way down was where I had that weird feeling in my leg, like weakness. So uh, I'm just being careful. But with my left leg, which used to be my worst knee, but now it's like just as bad, but it's a different feeling. It's more painful than not weird. But now there's no pain right now, especially in this exercise. So I'm using no assistance and just trying to explode up fast. And, um, I dropped the weight a little bit just so I could test out my right leg, and it felt pretty good. I didn't really need the assistance because I didn't have any weirdness, so I figured push it. That's how I do my workouts. It might not be the smartest, but I do test it. I didn't feel any weirdness, didn't really feel instability, so I figured push it a little bit and monitor it the next day or the next couple workouts. 
and left leg same thing but I noticed the other one I was kind of sitting too long so I was trying to explode on this one the second I touched the seat and I feel like that's how I want to do most of my workouts especially these like more uh, mobility stability type workouts I want to explode and use speed and other days I might do like heavy weight and try to just get it up but now I'm doing a hip abduction hip adduction I forget which is which doesn't really matter just do both um, I was really pushing hard it's really hard to tell because you can't see my face but I was pushing hard my legs actually shake but um, my uh, hips are I think they're weak but I don't know I think they're okay but uh, these really help with flexibility too because after I do them I definitely feel like looser and I think when you, someone told me, if I remember correctly, if when you like try to strengthen those minor muscles in your hips, it, they don't really get like crazy strong or get big, but they get flexible, more range of motion. So here's more kicks, dead center of the gym, not caring about anybody walking by. I'm in the middle. Here we go. Just, you know, uh, in between sets, doing some kicks, staying loose, especially because I'm doing a hip exercise, doing more kicks. This guy's saying... Why are you kicking? Uh, karate's obsolete. I'll show you something else. He's going to show me more moves. I'm just touching my toes. And while I was doing this, my machine actually got stolen from a lady. So I'm just doing more stretching. And now I notice, so I just start rapping, playing it cool. And so my machine's stolen, so while I wait for her to finish up, I'm doing some more stretching, some hips. And... Um, I do this stretch a lot. Uh, having, I've gotten better at it. Definitely feels a lot better, but I can still have a lot of improvement to do. But um, I really, a lot of my stretches are focusing on my hips and hamstrings just because those are the ones that are inflexible. The rest are pretty elite, meaning I can get pretty much full range of motion of what you need to be healthy, I believe. And um, my hips and my hamstrings are not. So I'm constantly stretching, especially on the light explosive day because... Um, I'm not as tired and I'm like I'm doing light explosive things and I'm just kind of warm and I feel good doing it. On the heavy days, I definitely stretch too, but it's like I need to do it maybe like a separate time. So I do like the heavy stuff and then like later at night I'll do the stretching, which I might do tonight as well. But this workout, um, I stretch during it, so I might stretch the next day as well, but at least the next day, but maybe tonight as well. So still stretching and um, just did some little glute stretches right there with hips. And now this little movement... I'm trying to get better at it as well. I'm pretty inflexible as you see, but I'm trying to get deeper into it. It's good for your hips. It feels like an athletic movement. I just want to be able to do it. Whatever. So now my machine's back open. Kick the lady off. We're back. So now we're doing the other one. I'm pushing hard. It's hard to see, but my legs are even shaking on the way out. But I'm trying to go slow when I release just because I don't want it to just like fly back and even injure something. But moreover, just try to exhaust my muscles and just do them fast and explosive but also just burn them out because these are just the minor muscles so I just want to use them as much as possible and I think strengthening the hips like I said helps them get more flexible so right after this it's really good to do stretches just because they're warm and they're used and that's just what I'm going with for now so I might be wrong but for now it's what's been working and I see some improvement so that's what I'm doing and um, that's enough of this. We get the point of this exercise. So what is next, sir? Done? Good. Okay, pistol squats. I really like this for uh, single leg stability and just health and also for uh, explosive one foot stuff. But as you see, my foot tips forward, which makes it easier because I'm inflexible. But I try to keep my heel back because that's like the real way to do it on flat ground. That one's a little better. But uh, it's easier on the ball, but also harder because of the stability factor. But it's easier because your foot tips forward. Now I'm doing it with no weight just because um, my knee is in rehab mode. So I don't want to push it. I just want to use the stabilizing muscles. Now this I'm doing ankle flexibility. And I have my foot a certain distance from the wall where I could barely not touch the wall and try to push and stretch my ankle. And ankle flexibility has actually, I think, helped my bad knee, which is my left knee. Because after I have done this for a few day workouts a week, for a couple weeks, my knee felt better than it has in a while. And I think everything's connected and it kind of relieves some of the tension. And now into stretching, which I'm terrible at, but I try my best. Uh, this is some glute stretches. I, I do all these a couple times, but I just went through it quick and just showed once. Lower back right here is very important that I do every day. And then I do more hips. 
uh, just try to lead into it, push my hips forwards, uh, obviously one on each side, then the Spider-Man one where you're in a push-up position, but then bring your foot up outside your arm and try to dip low, you'll feel it in your hip, and then a little child's pose action, I'm terrible at, but it's good for ankles and hips and everything, I think. Some more hamstrings, I'm terrible at, my left is a lot worse than my right, and then this one's for my knees. Uh, you do the hip type stretch, but then you pull your knee up and it hits a part of your quad that the normal quad stretch doesn't hit, called a rectus femoris. That's a big cause of knee pain. Now here I'm doing some abs, some core, and um, I like to do these instead of planks sometimes just because planks are daunting, trying to watch the clock count down for a minute or two minutes. These I could just kill a rep and it's really strenuous on my abs and it's just like I only have to do a few reps to really feel a big burn. So that's what I'm doing. It looks like I'm going slow, but I'm trying to get it up fast, but keep my legs straight and keep my body from swinging. So just more abs as well on a little decline. Um, just really trying to get that 10-pack uh, abs going, you know, just so I can get those uh, trick dunks good and the dribble dunks friggin' elite. And I forget what's next, but I think it's the best part. And it no, it's not. <laughs> so it's hamstrings. I forgot to do hamstrings, so I figured I'd just knock some out. Just do kind of lightweight, but enough to give me some resistance when I try to explode. And hamstrings are just so important. Every muscle in your legs are so important, so I wanted to just make sure I try to use every different muscle. So now, here we go, the hand speed. This day felt great. This exercise right here is for the East Bay, as you can tell, but it's really helped my hands. I'm staying on top of the ball. It's helped my grip strength and like on the ball, the ball feels super easy and super better handles with it after be doing this consistently. So I do a little more East Bay. Then I do a little J Rich action right here. Check this out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I should have not sped it up. But anyway, point is, felt really good. Um, I go behind my back the wrong way here, so I switch it up because I want to go the direction I would do it to dunk because that's the point of this is to eventually be able to do it to dunk. But these hand speed drills have felt great to me recently, and when I go to dunk now, my hands definitely feel like they have more control in the ball. And if you look cool sitting next to a ball, that's why I'm doing it. Pick it up, put it around your back, bang it. Now I'm doing some tomahawks. I didn't realize you can't really see it, but when I cock it back behind my head, I actually feel some muscles in like my triceps and stuff and my elbows. So like just trying to get that motion faster because I'm terrible at tomahawks. And anything you do with the ball will get faster if you do the hand speed drills for any tricks. It's good to do hand speed drills for it. And now I'm doing some just focusing on the second I get down. I try to change direction as fast as possible and that is the end of the workout and I will stretch probably tonight and if not definitely stretch tomorrow which is consisting of the stretches you saw and the leg kicks you saw and all those exercises I tried to do explosive and react and that change of direction when it was like a contraction I don't even know the right term but if I was sit sitting or like bending my legs as soon as I was going to change directions go the other way that's the point I really try to explode the most like change the direction as fast as possible I hope this was helpful I can do more voiceovers like this I just wanted to do a voiceover and a video of my workout to break it down and I figured this was the fastest way to get this video up with details and um, get it to you guys as soon as possible the same day I had the workout and um just show you what I'm doing, give you some insight to my workouts, especially on the light explosive day. It's hard to explain, but basically, if you are, I'm doing it because, this is turning into a podcast, but I'm doing this light explosive day because my knee has felt sort of weak and I haven't really jumped too much, so I don't really want to go back to strength training yet, so I'm kind of like, this is kind of like a gradual day to get back into it, that's why I went sort of heavy, but one thing I want to hint, hit on is that a lot of times your workouts, you got to go with what your body needs, so this is kind of what I thought my body needs. I need more stability, I need a little bit of strength, and I definitely want some reactive explosive training with some weights more than just jumping. And then from here on, I'll probably have a dunk session in two days and test it out and just keep it super light. Even if I'm jumping well, I'll keep it super light just because I want to get 100%. And even if I'm feeling 100%, I don't really know. So I want to 
And if I'm feeling 100%, I want to just keep it light and end on 100% because I don't want to end on like 75% health. So I'll keep it short and light. And then after that, if I have confidence, then I'll push it and try to get to 110% because that's how it goes. And that's pretty much it. I guess I'll talk more on another video. Let's get it. Keep it going. Dunk life. And let's go. Get your gains, boys. Keep it up. Go hard all day. I'm out.